Hi, I'm Mark Schultz with Ohio State University Extension. I'm near South Charleston, Ohio at our Western Agricultural Research Station checking our alfalfa fields for potato leafhopper. The potato leafhopper is the most damaging insect pest of alfalfa east of the Rockies. It does not overwinter here, but it blows up on storm fronts during late spring, usually arriving sometime in mid-May. in mid -May. From there, it has a very short life cycle, so it, it multiplies in population very quickly, and it, be, and it will affect our second, third, and oftentimes our fourth cutting during the summer months, and it needs to be checked. It's a very small, leaf, it's a very small insect, about an eighth of an inch long. It's wedge-shaped, has a very lime green color. The adults have wings. The nymphs, the immature stages, are even smaller. They don't have wings. They're also lime green, kind of wedge-shaped, as you can see in the picture. And uh, they have a very characteristic sideways walk when you're disturbed. So if you put your finger up next to it, they'll move away from it at a sideways kind of diagonal uh, walk, not straight and back. So that's a very characteristic of the, of the nymph. Now the damage, the, the typical damage is called hopper burn, and it's uh, what you'll see is a yellowing of the leaf tips at the very top of the leaflets. When you see this, the alfalfa's already begun to be stunted, and you've already lost some yield. So we want to avoid seeing the hopper burn. We want to catch these populations before that happens and before we lose any yield. The only way to do that is with a sweep net, a standard sweep net, 16 inch diameter rim, and we take 10 pendulum sweeps through the canopy of the alfalfa. You wanna go into the canopy about at least six inches on taller alfalfa, on shorter go in about halfway of the height of the canopy. And this is the best way to check, for, the only way really to check if you have populations that might reach damaging levels. So I'll demonstrate how to do this pendulum sweep. You wanna take a sample of 10 sweeps and then count what is in the 10 sweep sample. So again, we want to take a pendulum sweep through the canopy, 10 of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I usually twirl the net around to dislodge the leaf hoppers down into the bottom of the net. You can even hit it and then gather it up to hold them down in there. And the first thing you want to check is around the rim of the net to see if there's any leaf hoppers there. And the nymphs will all be around the rim and the upper part of the net. They won't be down in here. They'll be crawling around the rim of the net and this upper part. We have no nymphs here today. There went one adult. So you want to count that in, uh, add that into your count, and then you can kind of slowly open the net and try to count the adults as they fly out, but that's kind of difficult. So I like using just a, a simple Ziploc bag, a clear Ziploc bag that I transfer the sample into. If you have another person helping you to hold the bag, it's much easier, but it's possible to do it alone as I'll demonstrate here. So I put the net down there and just uh, slowly open the net, feeding it out into there, shaking it out inside the bag, and then withdrawing and closing it up quickly. Get a little bit of the air out and Ziploc it up. So here now I can count the number of leaf hoppers uh, in this sample. There's quite a few actually, okay? So I would count these, and we're well over 12. And the threshold is if the number of leaf hoppers, the total number, nymphs plus adults, if that number is more 
than the height of the alfalfa in inches, then this population is probably going to cause and multiply to even greater levels to the point of causing economic damage to your alfalfa and some action probably needs to be taken. Uh, probably insecticide application or if you're close enough to harvest, an early harvest. But in most cases you want to check your alfalfa about 10 to 14 days into the growth cycle, no more than two weeks after cutting so you can catch it before any damage is done. Um, and so in this alfalfa we're at about uh, we're at about 12, 12 inches in height. So if we have over 12 leaf hoppers in that 10 sweep sample, it's probably going to be economic to spray it. If you have leaf hopper resistant alfalfa with high levels of leaf hopper resistance, it's three times that. So it would tolerate 36 leaf hoppers in 10 sweeps. Okay? So uh, again, you want to uh, check this early in the growth cycle during the first two weeks after about 10 days of growth. Take your sweep net count and do that in at least three to five different areas of the field because populations do vary. You want to avoid the edges of the fields, especially the west edge and the south edge because those tend to have higher populations than the rest in the main part of the field. So get into the middle of the field, check three to five different areas take 10 samples in each area, take the average of that count, and then compare that to the height of the alfalfa. That's how you sweep and scout for potato leafhoppers. Thank you for listening.